Michael William Negrete was born the 25th of March 1981 and was 18 years old at the time of his disappearance in December 1999. Michael was a popular freshman at UCLA on a music scholarship, living at the Dicastra Hall. On the 10th of December, he had attended a party with friends on the floor he lived on and had then returned to his room. He played an online video game with another friend and at 4am the game finished and he left his room to congratulate the other player. He was last seen by the friend returning to his own room and was never seen again. When Michael's roommate woke up at 9am, Michael was gone, but his clothing, shoes, wallet, keys and musical instruments were still there. Although there was allegedly witnesses who might have seen somebody matching in a Greek's description leaving the building at 4.35am, this was never substantiated. Police could find no indication that Michael had any serious enemies, nor a secret life, depression, drugs or alcohol issues. They questioned Michael's friends and other people living on the floor, but no one said they had seen Michael since 4am. Although originally just a missing persons case, it was soon upgraded to a homicide investigation. The only lead was one several students gave of a Caucasian man who had been spotted on the floor on the night of Michael's disappearance, whom no one could account for. Police released a sketch of the man and appealed for him to come forward, stressing that he was not under investigation and that they were unsure if his presence had anything to do with the case. However, no one ever came forward. The unidentified man was seen to be wandering around the halls at approximately 4.35 a.m. The man is described as being approximately 35 years old, 5'7 to 5'8 tall with a heavy build. He was wearing a shiny grey jacket with a turquoise coloured design. Michael did not have a car at UCLA and LAPD bloodhounds appeared to trace his scent to a bus stop across the campus. However, investigators said that the dogs were confused and the scent should not be trusted. Police searched the garbage chute and all the construction sites on the campus but found no trace of Michael. More than 500 leads were submitted to the police but nothing would become of any of them. There has been no activity recorded on Michael's credit cards since his disappearance. Several psychics stated that Michael was still alive and provided his parents with his alleged locations, but in every case this turned out to be incorrect. Michael's parents hired two private detectives to look into the matter in greater detail and offered a hundred thousand dollar reward for information leading to Michael's whereabouts, which was never claimed. Ireland Fever, the band Michael played trumpet for, held several fundraisers for his search. In 2013, Michael's brother Steve, a member of the band Steam Powered Giraffe, stated that prior to his disappearance, Michael had recently taken drugs, including ecstasy, and had attended raves. In his opinion, Michael had, while under the influence of drugs, left the building and been abducted.